Welcome to WTAJ's award-winning sports feed. Tonight's show is brought to you by Five Star Mitsubishi. Here are your hosts, Jordan Tracy and Anderley Penwell. What are we even doing here? I don't know, man. It is a special Thursday night edition of Sports Beat. It's normally a school night on a Thursday yeah. night. Let those kiddos stay up a little bit later. I'm Jordan Tracy, alongside me, Anderley Penwell. Hello, everyone. Now, we avoided most of it this year, but the fear, fierce rain made things a little bit complicated. Some games tonight and one game braving it out tomorrow and some Saturday, so there's a lot going, a lot on, going on with this one. We'll begin with the District 6 6A title game between Altoona and State College, a rematch of the 2020 title game. So let's go to Alumni Stadium at Bald Eagle. Like I said, District 6 6A championship. State College will be in the maroon. Altoona is in the white. First drive of State That's College. Good clarification. Yeah, it, it, it was a lot actually. This one was all Deontay Sheffy taking this one in from close for the early 7 0 lead for State College. In the final moments of the half, Altoona gets on the board though. Alexander Yost's three yard touchdown run ties the game at seven each. All right, got it. But the break. Little Lions and Sheffy take the lead heading into the half. Sheffy finds a hole and is in for his second touchdown of the half as Little Lions lead 14 7 at the break. Now third quarter, Dante Nastasi, the other kid with the green shoes and the matching green gloves, sheds a couple tackles and is in for the score. Now check out Dad, Joe, he has to love this one. And Ryan Risky did a story on Dad and Son that's on our website. And State College wins this one 28-7. All right, a 4A sub-regional between Juniata and Dubois. Juniata up 3-0 at the half. Third quarter, Aaron Kanegi hands it off to Waylon Aaronzeller. Finds the edge and 11 yards for the score. Juniata up 10-0. Now, Dubois will get things moving here as Trey Winger, the freshman, hits Garrett France, who then gets a 23-yard game, and the Beavers are in business. Three plays later, Winger to France again. This time, he's going to make it to the sideline, and he goes 32 yards for the score. But Juniata moves on. Final score, 17-7. All right, let's go back to battles for a title. District 5 AA championship between Berlin and Westinghouse. This game sounded like a Mountaineer home game from the start. Now, first drive of this game for Westinghouse, and Cleo Taylor jumps over a guy what? and gets all the way to the one yard line. Collect some coins. Yep, where he'd punch it in on the next play. Got all of a hurdle there. Later in the quarter, Bulldogs quarterback Keyshawn Marcello would run it in himself to put the Bulldogs up by two scores, and they would win this one. 59 to 7. NBC playing Windber. The Ramblers rambling up seven in the second. Panthers in the red zone. Ian Snyder's picked off. There's Jake Hotstetler with the play and a wasted chance for NBC on a night where the Panthers had very few opportunities. In the third, Snyder going downfield. And it's Evan Brady playing center field. A second Rambler pick. And Winburn wasted no time. John Schuster on the direct snap. Nothing fancy like Applebee's on a date night with this offense, but it gets the job done like the Bourbon Street Shake. Andrew Clay had a lot Andrew of Clay. fun it's writing the these steak. highlights. 14 0 in Winburn. Panthers running out of time, five minutes to go, and Snyder's pass is tipped and intercepted. This time, Ethan Brady. The Brady Bunch with two of three picks, and the last one seals it. Winburn wins the 5A single eight title 14 0. Believe it or not, we actually have some more action to show you. All right. Well, I can't believe it's not butter still. Coming up after the break, Richland and BG face off for a chance to play for the District 6 title. Don't go anywhere. Five Star Power Sports is a proud... You're watching Sports Beat on a Thursday. It's Thursday! We're watching Sports Beat on a Thursday, baby. We're watching Sports Beat on a Thursday! It's Thursday! It's a Sports Beat. On a Thursday? On Thursday? You're watching Sports Beat on Thursday night! Whoa! That's right, it is Thursday. a Thursday. Welcome back, Penns Valley hosting Bald Eagle in the District 6 AA semifinal. The Rams student section going with the whiteout on this one. 7-0 Rams early in the second, and Carson Nagel takes a shot downfield, and Cameron Watkins coming down with it for the 45-yard gain. Two plays later again, it's Nagel lob lobbing this one up for Cahill Burns for the 25-yard strike. As he gives Risky Biz a good scare on the sideline there. Thank you for not getting not run over. 7-7 seven, seven, seven in this one. Three plays later into the next Rams drive. Roman calls his own number. 
And Scampers 55 yards to pay Derek to put Penns Valley up 14 to 7. In the next play from scrimmage, Nagel drops back and unleashes a deep ball to a wide open Watkins. 70 yards for the score. Run, run, run he goes. This game is tied at 14. A couple minutes before the half, Penns Valley with some trickery here. Some trickery. Dan and Chris Center, a wide receiver tossing this one up for Roaming on the touchdown as Penns Valley defeats Bald Eagle 34 to 14. On the other side of the bracket, it is Richland hosting Bishop Guilfoyle. Let's get to it. First quarter, Rams quarterback Sam Penna swings it to Austin Yarnick, who gets just enough for the Richland first down. A few plays later, Evan McCracken on the direct snap, dives into pay dirt, and the Rams lead 8 to nothing. Second quarter, Carson Keseyweather for BG takes a hit, but gets the screen off to Drew Abraham. He'll hustle doo, 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 down the sideline for a modder first down. A few plays later, it's Keseyweather keeping himself, but he's not alone with a little help from his friends. Gets into just the end zone and ties up. things up at eight. Just push me, fellas, and I'll take it a pay dirt. Later in the half, it's Keseyweather again on the QB dive. He'll power his way into the end zone to take the 15 to eight lead. This one was a battle as BG wins it 32 to 22. We'll move on to the District 6 AA title game against Penns Valley. Now more action tomorrow with St. Mary's and Clearfield play for the District 9-3A title at 7 p.m. in Brockway. On Saturday at 1 o'clock game, sub-regional matchup between Junietta and Dubois at Dubois. Then at night, all 7 p.m. kickoffs for the District 6 semifinals. Portage at Penn's Manor and Cambria Heights at Northern Cambria. The District 6 3A title game between Central and Penn Cambria, Penn Cambria will be at Mansion Park in Altoona. And finally, the District 9 2A title game between Central Clarence and Brookville will be played at Carnes City. Man, a lot of action. Kind of wacky. Kind of wacky. We're here on a Thursday. I can't believe it. We won't be back tomorrow. There is one game. We will have those highlights. Yes. But we will see you when we see you. Bye-bye. Take care.